All right, Matisse Windsock artists, here we go. We are gonna finish up this project today. So let's get started. The last thing that we were doing is we were gluing on the tails of our windsock, which are all on there nice and neat, and they have dried, so they should not fall off while we are gluing this together. I have here my glue stick. I have a piece of yarn that is about a foot and a half long, and this is gonna be to hang my windsock. And then the other thing that I have is a hole puncher, which is gonna be really helpful. You don't wanna use a pair of scissors and just jab a hole through this. Try to find something that will gently put a hole. If you have a hole puncher, it makes it a lot easier. So here we go. All right, our objective is we are going to take our wind sock and we are going to turn it around into a circle. And one of the ends is going to go on top of another like this. And you want them to overlap by about at least an inch, just so that they hold really, really securely. Now, how do you do this, right? Well, we're gonna do this with glue and we're gonna use our glue stick. But before we do it, what we wanna do is we wanna prime our paper. So what does that mean? It means that we wanna kinda of curl it. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can sort of take some of the paper and curl it like this and then curl it, rolling it into a tighter circle. So what you're doing is you are kind of bending this paper, bending the glue, snapping it where you need to so that it will stay in a circle. And it does not stay this tight. A wind sock allows air to travel through it and the wind goes through and it blows the tails. It looks really nice. You see a lot of them in the spring. So now that I've curled this, do you see how nicely this makes a circle? And it's not as resistant to make that circle. How do we glue it? All right, we're gonna put some glue on this guy. So I am going to say to myself, yep, I want this side to go on top of this side, or I might go like that and say, no, I want it this way. But you see my big heart right here? I want my heart to show. So I am going to make this the top and this side the bottom. So the top one is the one I'm gonna put glue on. Here's where your glue stick comes in handy. Grab that glue stick. Make sure you roll the glue stick so that the glue comes up out of the top. And you are going to use the thickness of the tip of this glue stick and go back and forth, back and forth like this get really gluey. You need a lot. I know you think that you might be using enough. You're probably not. Use more. We want it to be really wet and really gluey. Then you're going to take that side. You're going to gently roll it on top, just like that. Kind of match up top to bottom. It's hard to do. You may need a grown up to help you do this part. I think I might even need a grown-up to help me do this part. Oh wait, I am the grown-up. Okay, there we go. Now, now that I've got it like that, I'm going to turn it over and we're gonna call that part the seam. So the part where the two sides meet are the seam. I'm gonna flip it over, put my hand inside and I'm gonna press down on the seam on the inside just so that it stays. So can you see that I'm putting my hand in Press down on the seam all the way to the other side. Look at, here I am, hello. Let's do that until I feel like it's holding really, really well. If you pick this up and it comes unglued, guess what that means? You need more glue. All right. That seems pretty good. We're in business. Let's do the next step. Punching some holes. This is gonna be to hang up our windsock. So I'm gonna take my hole puncher. The where the hole comes out is at the bottom and where the puncher is, that's the top. And you kind of hold it like a pair of scissors in the sense that your thumb goes on top, fingers are on the bottom. And the first hole I'm gonna make is where the two papers overlap each other because that will at least provide one really secure place for it to go through two papers and not tear out so easily. I push the hole puncher all the way in, as far as it will go into the mouth of the hole puncher. There we go. There's one. And then I kind of want to do it right on the other side, on the opposite side. So I look 
find the opposite side, go all the way in. There we go. It does not have to be perfect and even. Just do the best of your ability across. There we go. My hole puncher did not want to let go. Now, here we go. So if you want to pause right there and do your holes, go ahead. The next step is going to be to put our string in. This one is really easy. I am going to put my string into one hole. There we go. And then this is how you hide your string. I'm going to put my string in from the outside of the windsock to the inside of the windsock. Now see those? I'm just going to pull this for a second. Take these two strings here. You might need a grown up for this too. I'm going to put both together, wind them around my fingers to make a knot. Make sure all the little ends get in there because these real thick yarns tend to fray apart. There we go. I tied a knot and it's on the inside, but that's okay. When I pull up on the outside one, that stays there. And now I've got my wind sock, which is going to hang and blow in the wind beautifully. Look at that. It's like a big squid or octopus. All right. Have fun hanging up your wind sock and having it blow in the spring wind. I hope you enjoy your beautiful Matisse collage. I'll see you later.